Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Crash 4. This time I'm going to show you how to get through Jetboard Jetty. This is a long and difficult level, and you will need the green gem in order to break all the boxes. The green gem can be obtained in Hit the Road, and I'm pretty sure it can also be obtained in Truck Stop. So check out uh, the guides linked in the description if you're still missing that. The intro section of this stage is fairly standard, but it does introduce you to basically all of the traps that you will find throughout this level. There are dudes swinging on anchors with swords. There are these really funny looking shark dudes or street shark looking guys. Um, for this rope here, you want to delay your jump off, otherwise you'll get caught in the anchor. Here you want to bounce on this box five times to get all 10 Wumpa Fruit out of it. And then there are some rolling pins, like they're at a link to the pass or something. Uh, on these platforms, so you can either bounce on these boxes or just spin them away. Uh, if you're bouncing on them, you got to be very careful because you can only enter this room through the middle. You cannot go through the sides. Wait for this flame box to subside. Don't forget to break these three crates here and hit the checkpoint. And at this point, you should have 33 of 196 boxes. Yeah, it's a long level. So the jet board operates the same way it does in Crash 2. It can be a little unwieldy, and you also need to uh, jump off ramps. There is a flashback tape right here to our left. I had already completed this stage and done the recording, but it had no sound. I made a mistake, so I had to redo this whole thing again. In any event, the bonus here is pretty interesting. You need to trigger the TNTs ahead of time, and then they will uh, create some steel crates for you. I recommend not worrying about the Wumpa Fruit in this bonus stage if you can help it. It's really not worth it. There is a ton of Wumpa Fruit in this level. You should have no problem getting 80% of it. Okay, so go along this string of boxes here, and then that will be all 29, and then you can exit. It's tough, but it's, it's interesting. I like that bonus a lot. It's really cool. At the end of it, you should have your first Wumpa Fruit gem and be on your way to your second. Hitting the checkpoint, you will have, I think it's 71 crates at that point. Um, so moving on here, there's some hidden Wumpa Fruit up here. And as we travel along this little haunted bayou, I want to draw your attention to an upcoming set of crates that are underneath two nitro crates. I don't know what it is, but there is a trigger somewhere hidden here that will allow those two nitro crates to be uh, basically exploded for you increasing your box count higher than mine is and that's right here there's something in here that will blow up those two nitro crates it may be that exclamation point switch i don't really know but you may have two more crates than i do at all my checkpoints from this point on it's happened to me a bunch of times i don't know what triggers it but you know when we get to the next major checkpoint i'm gonna have 108 boxes you may have 110 that's perfectly fine okay so at the end of this little bayou section, the hidden gem is above this double stack of crates. It's kind of hard to miss. Let's go ahead and grab that, hit the checkpoint, go all the way right and grab these four crates. As you can see here, I have 108 boxes. You may have 110. All right, another jet board section. This time we got to avoid cannons and big spikes. Everything here is just trying to blow up as well as some whirlpools that are trying to trap you. Just slowly but surely go through this section and you will make it through no problem. Things get trickier in the next uh, jet board section where you have to avoid actual enemies as well. Okay, so here's the green gem path. If you do not have the green gem, check the description for guides for hit the road and truck stopped. The green gem is available in those levels and then you can come back here and, and get it. So this section is hard, just like they are in the classic games. These gem paths are serious. But if you were you know, having a, a somewhat easy time with the bayou sections earlier on in the level, you shouldn't have too much trouble. You just gotta avoid the cannon shots in the foreground. That's kind of the new element here. You wanna slide under this box as late as possible. This way you trigger the TNT, but don't blow up the nitro. All right, you can use this box to cleanly avoid the cannons. Okay, you wanna wait for that anchor to be on the backswing. And you gotta slide really late here to trigger the TNT and not the nitro. Okay, so just avoid this anchor swinging and you are home free. Here's the last two cannons and that's it. There's two crates here, hop on the green gem again and you're out. You should have 138 crates at this point and uh, your second Wumpa Fruit gem. All right, once back, hit the checkpoint and then grab the Lonnie Loli mask and then start phasing in and out these platforms or phasing these platforms in and out. You want to be very careful here. There is an arrow crate 
in the right corner. And be very careful not to phase in while you are standing inside of that arrow crate. Otherwise, you got to redo this. Okay. So there is a regular crate, and underneath is an exclamation point crate that you have to phase in. And that will open up this little crate here. Grab the second Aku mask, and then you want to use these crates to jump off and avoid the street sharks as best you can. Because there is a boss at the end of this level, and you want to make sure you have both masks, because it is challenging. Okay, so just keep avoiding everything. Double jump over the fish bones, get that crate, spin away the street sharks, and then you can see that there is a uh, TNT crate that you got to phase in. So do that, hit the trigger, and then move on. Okay, just wait for the street shark to throw his fish, blow up that one TNT, sometimes it'll give you both. I recommend waiting for this TNT to explode before getting the rest of the crates. I'm never sure if, if it'll blow up anything else um, if it's not phased in. Okay, so here you have 167. We just got our third Wumpa Fruit Gem, and this is the last big piece of platforming we have to do. Okay, so this platform will collapse, so you want to wait for the anchors to be far away, and then jump around them as best you can, bounce off the TNT, jump over the fish bones, spin the street sharks away, and now at this checkpoint, you should have 173 or 175. These dudes, you want to bait into the cannonballs, and they will blow up and die. This is easier said than done for the second and third section. The first section has one of those guys, second section has two, third section has three, and they are militant, so be careful. Second section is coming up here, so if you need more Wumpa Fruit, just do a big spin off that. We're gonna blow up the first guy, and then you want to do your best to bait the second guy into the bomb. My third section is not clean, I'm telling you now. Okay. So once the first cannon fires, you want to just move along here. You shouldn't need to uh, accelerate at all if you're being careful. Okay, so you want to try to set these guys up quickly. Uh, unfortunately, I botched it, and I now have two of them chasing me. As you can see, they are fast. They have a really big range, and the third one just chills out by that whirlpool. It's very mean, but I'm able to get these crates and somehow avoid everything. The cannonballs can also kill them. I did lose a mask there. It's not the end of the world. But here we have 194 of 196. But if those nitro crates from way earlier blew up for you, you should have all the boxes. And now we just got to defeat Louise. This is an easy fight, but it can get hectic. You want to bait these spinning dudes into the tentacles that pop up. Um, you can also uh, bait them to the AOE area where the tentacle is going to slam. Now, as you noticed, one of them did hit the tentacle but it did not successfully register a hit. And that is because as of today, on patch 1.02, if the enemy hits the tentacle as it is rising out of the water, the damage will not count. You have to lead it into it directly. So just like that. Easy hit was registered. And then this one probably won't. Oh, it actually did. I don't know. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, I guess. I've had it happen plenty of times where it Damage never took. All right, so we gotta keep baiting. You'll only ever have two of these guys out at once, but with three tentacles out, it can be pretty tough. Okay, so you wanna do your best not to trap yourself back there. Um, that's kind of a precarious position to be in, but I had a mask, so I sort of felt like risking it. Um, when you are far away, the tentacles won't hit you, so if you can get a good angle, you can su successfully and easily bait the enemies into the tentacle because the tentacle is never going to move, only the enemy draws towards you. Okay, so that's it. That is Jet War Jetty. It is a long level and it is tough. If you're going for the uh, the insane completion, this one's going to take you a while. No joke. But that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Crash 4, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.